Hi, I'm Madeline from Sheen Slings and today I'm going to show you how to replace a buckle on an Ergo Omni 360. So this buckle smashed while in use, sadly just cracked and broke. Um, and fortunately Ergo have very kindly sent me a buckle, um, but they tend to send very minimal instructions on how to do this. So I thought I would make a video and show you how to do it. Um, the first step, well, first step is order a buckle from Ergo. But the first step, once you've got your replacement buckle, is to get the old buckle off the strap. Now, hopefully, the easiest way, in theory, we can simply take it to the end and unthread it. This may or may not work, and this will depend on the age of your Ergo, and specifically the size of the buckle. The original ones, the buckles were very narrow, and they simply won't get over the stitching. Um, the newer ones, uh, newer buckles, since they've realised that these buckles do need replacing, um, are slightly wider and then they will go over. So the first thing I advise is give it a go. If it doesn't work, we're going, we'll smash it off instead. So let's give this a go. I'm going to pull it over and give it a nice good force. Aha! And it has come off. That's really great. Um, so this one is a newer one, um, so I was hopeful it would work. And second layer, there we go, done. Um, if you try and try and try and try and it doesn't come off as easily as that just did, um, ergo advise you smash it off with a hammer. Now, I've done this in the past with older ones. Um, I find the best method is to wrap it in a towel, so put a towel to protect your floor, put a towel on top and then just whack it with a hammer and then hopefully all the broken bits will be contained in the towel and you won't sort of have flying shrapnel. Okay, so the next stage is to Thread the, thread the new buckle back on the strap. Now, take some time to make sure you're threading it on the right way. I nearly always get this wrong and it's always heartbreaking when you've spent ages threading it on and then it turns out you've got to redo it. Um, so have a check of the other one, lay it out um, so that you can see how the buckle is running. Um, so I've got to come from underneath and back through. Um, but take your time, look at the other one, um, and work it out. So how I'm going to do this, I'm going to start by putting, putting the elastic through and then I'm going to use the elastic to pull. Now you really do need to use quite a bit of force and it's quite hard, but it should come. Um, and again through here. I have had some that have just been impossible. This one is actually proving quite easy today, but I've had some that are just impossible. Voila, done. And if you really are stuck and you're really not getting it through, um, I think particularly if you've got a slightly older one or a different model, some of them, this is just fatter than others. And I think it depends also on the color of the webbing, exactly how it's stitched. If you're finding it really, really challenging, you can snip off the elastic. It's annoying because then you don't have the elastic to tidy the straps. But um, I've had some where I've been trying for like 15 minutes straight and I'm just get to the point where I'm happy to sacrifice the elastic. Yeah. But this one came quite easily today. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you could see how it was done. Any questions, feel free to drop me a message. Bye.